Hey friends and fellow Simmerstorians, welcome back to my Victorian Sims challenge. Today we are back with the Jung family, formerly the Thompsons, but as you can remember, <laughs> we've had some tragedies in poor Nellie Grace's life here, but you know, that's kind of a thing of the past at this point. She is happily pregnant with her second child and also pretty happily married, which I think is actually kind of a really nice surprise given that Rodney was a, a bit of a challenge when we first brought him into the family, but he's actually taking over the storefront pretty well in Nellie's absence because she is having to take care of her poor pregnant body and we don't want any miscarriages. So every once in a while she kind of pops out to the storefront, which is literally just their front yard at this moment to um, run the cash register. But for the most part, she is mostly spending her time cooking and reading and resting in bed. And I'm just really happy to be able to give Nelly this kind of calm existence right now. And we have our son, our heir, Edmund Tobias. Great little kid. He actually brings home Emma Breyer Price. And Emma is um, generally a pretty quiet little bookworm. And it's so fun to see her with Edmund because she is just like lively and laughing and having such a good time. I mean, look at them playing cops and robbers together. It's so cute. I've just, I've never seen her this excitable and playful before. So I don't know. I kind of, I, I kind of enjoy seeing these two together. Maybe we'll have a little arranged marriage later on. Um, we'll see. And Rodney is also kind of picking up the slack when it comes to taking care of the household. He's helping make some food, he's helping clean. And also, I just like, I can't get over the fact that Edmund looks just like Rodney. They are adorable together. Look at them both in their little gray outfits, chatting over lunch. And I do really wish The Sims 2 would have kids do their homework at the table because I don't think I've ever done homework on, that's not true, I do homework on the floor often but their existence is pretty calm. Up until labor, yay! Uh, this is our second child. Uh, we'll see what we get. Happy with anything, we already have an heir. Although, to be honest, Edmund's mortality rates could be better. Okay, so I always do random. Oh, it's just one baby. That's really manageable, I love that. I feel like it's gonna be a girl. We'll see. Oh, how cute. It's a girl. I was right. Okay, we're gonna do Mary Henriette. Uh, Mary is such a nice proper Victorian name, and yet I don't use it very often, but it's time for more babies because 19th century. So let's like, let's have them have some fun. Very excited to kind of like finally get some bigger families. Um, especially since like their age meters kind of started over because I had to like rebuild everyone in a, in a new save, but we don't have to, we don't have to get into that trauma. But Edmund is a great kid. He does a lot of chores around the house. He's happy when he goes off to school. And I'm really glad that some of you like kind of made comments um, about schooling in the 19th century because I, I did want to address that. So normally I just have my children go to school and then they don't go to school when they age up into teenagers unless they're in the upper middle or upper class and above. Um, and I think that's fairly realistic. I think some education would make sense for like the lower middle and maybe lower class, but The Sims 2 doesn't really give me space to keep the children home from school unless I download mods, which I could do, but I'm, I'm happy with getting them out of the house for a few hours if we're honest. So I don't know if we've actually found out if Nellie is pregnant yet, but oh god, her hunger. <laughs> Yeah, based on her needs. Oh, okay, she just popped into the first trimester. That's great timing. Cool. So baby number three is on the way. Edmund is delightful. Absolutely delightful. He spends some extra time reading and hanging out. I think it's actually time for Mary's birthday. So I can't wait to see what she looks like. Black hair. Oh my goodness, those little eyes. 
I kind of, I kind of like these like straight pouty eyebrows. I'm, I'm definitely feeling that. And we're just gonna keep her in this little blue dress. I think that's fine. It's actually not custom content, but I do also feel like it sort of fits the era. Oh, second trimester. Man, this pregnancy is moving so fast. And Rodney is still helping to take care of the kids, which I think we all appreciate. I mean, I don't know. These pregnancies are so rough and maybe like, Maybe this miscarriage mod is making the pregnancies worse than they should be, but I just, I like the challenge, you know? And okay, we are one star away from rank three. That's going to be a life changer because you get a lot of money with the third grant. I am so excited. So we're just now starting to get to the place where we can harvest our grapes. The, the grapevines I think are only harvestable in the summer. You get three harvests out of it if you plant them in the spring and you do have to water those every day it took me some efforts to realize that oh <gasps> rank three. Oh my goodness it's ten thousand dollars guys this is great this is so much money for them um instead of the prices oh look we have um we have a king and a price here hey hey ladies it's it's nice to see the three founding members, female members of our challenge here together. Although it doesn't look like Catherine is too happy to be here. All right. So what we did here, um, we have given Nelly a brand new kitchen because honestly, if anyone deserves it, it's Nelly. I, it just makes me so happy to see her like cooking in this really nice kitchen with these bronze appliances and as you can see behind Mary here, we actually have a storefront. So unlike the prices, I decided to keep their storefront at home. Um, and we're gonna do that for a little while. Technically, I don't like to let my Sims open a storefront um, on a separate lot until they've reached the lower middle class. And we haven't quite gotten there yet. Although with the opening of our storefront here, we might have. So that's something to look forward to in the future. But for the moment, I just, I, I like this very artisanal quality of having it on the home lot. <gasps> Baby number three, oh my goodness. So excited. I just, I love seeing this go well for Nelly. Okay random what are we gonna get oh it's multiple babies it's twins why why is one of the that is a that is a slightly darker sim compared to the parents and so is the other baby i have i have some questions about this um again this is not an issue where nelly has had an affair this is a coding issue, so you guys will have to bear with me for some of these, some of these mistakes. Um, <laughs> because that, uh, like, I, I don't even, I can't even plot that away. All right, so we have Edith Josephine for our little girl, and then we're gonna do Jonah Anthony. Cool, I love it. Um, we've had to add these beds all over the place because they don't actually fit in our nursery. That probably would have been a better way to spend our money, but I really wanted to open our storefront. Oh, look at Nelly with Jonah. So cute. And Edmund is doing incredible at school. He is a stellar little kid. Maybe he could be a knowledge sim, but I, I, I'm feeling more family sim because he's always just like hanging around with his parents and just like such a, he's just so good. And since we've finally been able to stomp enough grapes, I think you need five baskets of grapes and the same type of grape to be able to stomp grapes and get a barrel. So we're watching Nelly here stomp our first harvest of the season of grapes and I'm so excited. So we'll put that barrel on this rack here and it's kind of a cool mechanism. So the, the barrel has to sit out of an inventory for 10 sim days before it qualifies as wine and can be like bottled and corked. So unfortunately, we're, there's not like a whole lot we can do with this wine for the next 10 days. And that's also partially why I wanted to keep the storefront at home because when we have the storefront on another lot, I definitely want it to be a proper vineyard winery 
but we also just had Mary's childhood birthday. I am so excited to dress her up in cute little child clothing. However, we don't really have any money because again, I did, I did not plan for that very well. And clothes in The Sims 2 cost money. So um, we've got a couple other birthdays that are gonna happen today and in the morning. So I think we're gonna hold off on buying her some new clothes. So sorry guys, you're gonna have to forgive me for the fact that it's not going to look Victorian for a few minutes. And then we're just gonna buy all the clothes and mass tomorrow. But the it's the baby's birthdays today and also Edmund's. So we're gonna work on the storefront for a little while and get some money. Um, hopefully at least like a thousand or two because we're gonna we've got a lot of kids we're we're gonna need a lot of clothes all right Edmund's birthday I'm really interested to see what he looks like as a teenager um, all right he looks honestly just like Rodney and Nellie doesn't seem too happy about the situation she is kind of miserable we're actually just gonna leave the random selections there and we're gonna go with family sim I I like that for him it feels fitting I'm I'm happy with that decision all right cool so we are gonna have the babies age up oh my goodness Edith she's gorgeous I that is a beautiful toddler toddlers can look really weird in this game and she is like perfection Wow. Okay, so here's Edmund in um, our create a sim, or, well, I guess change appearance. <laughs> he looks a little bit funny, but that's okay. We love him anyway. And we're gonna go with a little pinafore, as we tend to do in this social class, for Mary. Oh my god, she's precious. Guys, I, I am shooketh. This is such a cute child. Her little, her little braids, and her and her eyes and the flush cheeks and that that little freckle okay i'm sorry i i'll calm down she's just so cute that i wow yeah these sims have like great genetics for female children <laughs> and okay there we have jonah uh we're just gonna be pretty simple i'm not changing very much and i cannot change anything for edith because she is perfect the way that she is thank you guys for hopping on with me today i think we're gonna end there i think it's been about a week in the sims so we're doing a little bit longer so we can have things progress um don't forget to like and subscribe and as always we have a discord and we would love to see you guys there so thanks for joining and see you next time